Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on this very beautiful stitch. This is very very easy stitch. We have to repeat only two rows for the pattern. And I have used very very unique kind of color combo for all the stitches. Okay, you can choose whatever combos if you have for making crochet projects. And you can use this stitch in scarf, blanket, sweaters. So if you want to make little boys and girls sweater this is a unisex switch okay so you can use for both boys and girls or women or men so we can start working on this tutorial and this is not a normal granny square or shell stitch or something okay this is little different from all the stitches so i am using e3.5 mm hook for this project so first i am going to use a gray color yarn Make a slip knot. First we need to make a chain. So the chain should be multiples of 5 plus 1. So I am going to make 21 chains here. So I have completed 21 chains. So multiples of 5 is 20 plus 1 21. So going to add 3 more chains extra. Now you have to skip 4 chains 1, 2, 3, 4. In the 5th chain make a double crochet. Like this. Now skip 2 chains. In the next chain make 2 double crochet. Chain 2, 2 double crochet. So double crochet and then double crochet. chain 2, 2 double crochet in the same chain. So first shell we have created. Now you have to skip 4 chains 1, 2, 3, 4. In the fifth chain make 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. First you need to skip 2 chains. Now you have to skip 4 chains. Make a shell. Double crochet. And then double crochet. Chain 2. 2 double crochet. One. like this and then skip 4 chains 1, 2, 3, 4 in the 5th chain make 2 double crochet chain 2, 2 double crochet so 1, 2 chain 2 2 double crochet And then 1, 2, 3, 4, skip 4 chains. In the last 2 chain is there, right? So there, here, you have to make 2 double crochet. So 1, 2, chain 2, and then double crochet in the last stitch. So this is the pattern of row 1. So we have completed first row. This is the row 1 pattern. It's a 3 shell but starting and end will be little different. Now chain 6. So 3, 4, 5, 6. Turn your work. Okay. Now you have to skip the chain 2 space. We have to directly work on next 4 stitches double crochet together ok so you have to make a double crochet together in next 4 stitches so this is the first stitch so yarn over insert the hook pull the yarn and then pull through first 2 loops and then yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through next 2 loops and then yarn over 
inside the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through first two loops and then again yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch pull the yarn pull through first two loops you have five loops in the hook right so pull through all the loops now you have to make chain four so one two three four like this and then again skip the chain two space make a double crochet together in the next four stitches so this is the first one and then second one and then third one fourth one like this and then you have five loops on the hook and then pull through all the loops now chain four one two three four now here you have to make a same double crochet together again four stitches so you have to skip every chain two space and work on only in the stitches that you make sure so this is the last stitch now pull through all the loops make sure you should get five loops in the hook and then chain four one two three four now here in the last three stitches they right so we have completed till here this first starting and ending will be different of each row so you have to make double crochet together in next stitch and then again in the next then skip one stitch you have to directly work on yarn over insert the hook in the last stitch so you have to make a double crochet together in three stitches only so you will get four loops in the hook so at the last you will get four loops in the hook pull through all the loops that's it now you have to make a change the color of the yarn and make chain two so here one and then take the red loops red yarn and make another chain so chain two and then turn your work single crochet in the same stitch here so start with the single crochet and then here you can see the chain two space right row one chain two space here you just leave it here the chain two space you have to make a shell in the chain two space so two double crochet so one two chain two one two and then again two double crochet so one and two like this now you have to make in the next chain two space of row one you have to work only in the chain two space of row one okay so two double crochet chain two two double crochet now again next chain two space of row one here make two double crochet chain two so you have to skip that four double crochet together stitch so that looks to create a kind of bobble stitch okay so that is a variation for normal granny or ripple stitch to this stitch so you can see the little little bobble here right now in the last you have to make a chain two space here two double crochet so one two and then in the last stitch make a single crochet in here in the chain stitch make a single crochet to finish this round so this is the pattern now chain six one two three and four five six turn your work so first we need to create a double crochet together in 
4 stitches so yarn over in next to 4 stitches make a double crochet together so this is the first one this is the second stitch and then third stitch and then fourth stitch right so pull through all the loops chain four three four now again skip the chain two space make a double crochet together in the four stitches pull through all the loops chain 4 1 2 3 4 and then again double crochet together in 4 stitches then 4 chain 1 2 3 4 so the last is a little different so you have to make a double crochet together in 3 stitches ok so 2 double crochet plus 1 single crochet you have to make a double crochet together so in yarn over insert the hook in the first double crochet and then pull through first two loops and then again second one and then last single crochet stitch so you will get four loops in the hook pull through all the loops now changing the color of the yarn make a chain two so one and to turn your work then single crochet in the same stitch again you have to work on chain 2 space of row 3 so here you have to make a 2 double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet 2 double crochet chain 2 and then skip the double crochet together stitch directly work on chain 2 space 2 double crochet chain 2 2 double crochet again skip the double crochet together then make a shell in the chain 2 space of row 3 okay like this so you can see the wave now right ripple or wave it will be like that now the last is a little difference you have to make a previous single crochet that row three single crochet is there right so here you have to make a two double crochet here so one two and then and then single crochet in the last stitch to finish this round okay now chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 turn your work now you have to make a double crochet together in 4 stitches so this is exactly similar to row 4 And then next one next one so now you will get five loops 
pull through all the loops now chain 4 1 2 3 4 now again skip the chain 2 space make a double crochet together in 4 stitches then chain 4 1 2 3 4 then again skip chain 2 space make a double crochet together in 4 stitches pull through all the loops and then chain 4 now you have to make a double crochet together in last 3 stitches next you have to start with chain 2 turn your work so you can see the pattern now clearly so you have to repeat only 2 rows row 4 and row 5 row 4 and row 5 again next row will be a row 4 row and then row 5 row so and every time you can start with the uh, row the starting and ending point will be different that you also keep in mind so you can see the design now exactly right so we can make we are making a bubble little bubble stitch that is a thing for the ripple pattern it is not uh, normal pattern like granny or shell it's not kind of usual pattern okay it is very very different and unique pattern if you are making a very big project with this stitch it looks very very pretty okay so if you really like this tutorial please subscribe to my channel and click notification bell icon and i have given my facebook and insta link in the description you can follow me in facebook and insta if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section i will definitely reply you thank you mm -hmm.